I don't want to turn this into a depressing roll call of people I knew who have died, but word came down last night that someone who'd been a presence in my life since 1993 died a couple of days ago with stomach cancer. And he was 55, just a couple of years older than me. He was part of a scene uh, that originated at a, um, a dial-up BBS that I connected to in 1993 and stayed with for about two and a half or three years. That, I, that BBS was like none other. It, it, it was such a crazy scene. Everybody was fucking everybody. You know, I even got in on it. I don't consider myself promiscuous, but there was all kinds of fucking going on. People talking openly about it on the discussion forums and in the IRC channel. Um, people talked openly about their drug use and other illegal activities. It was, it was just anything goes. It was that kind of environment. Uh, well, to be honest, the only other one, the only such place I could think of that even came close and maybe even surpassed it in some ways was my own message boards that I hosted years later and I did so in the spirit of, of that that old BBS by just keeping my hands off not moderating for anything but spam and it was a lot of fun people people still talk about it people still reminisce and some people from there who met there got married and others are still still connected in a lot of ways it was it was something but anyway uh, Peter was part of of the original scene I um, only ever interacted with him directly uh, starting about a year ago when the quarantine was, was imposed and I got invited back to the IRC channel where people have inhabited that channel continuously <laughs> since before I was on the scene, maybe since 1991 or 92, I, I don't know when it was created some of the same people were there. I was a little hesitant about re-entering that place for a variety of reasons, but Peter was the big, big surprise for me. He was incredibly smart, incredibly funny, uh, had a huge mind, a huge sense of humor, just very engaged. I just wasn't used, wasn't used to encountering that kind of person in this particular channel. I mean, everybody there was smart, but it was, he was, he was a big surprise. He, he a big part of what kept me coming back to that place even when I'd been hesitant at first. So we had long conversations. I think he probably got to know more about me than I about him, but that doesn't matter. He was he was a huge surprise and I'm really sorry to hear that he's gone. Uh, but that scene, I, I, I was a little hesitant to go back to the IRC channel even though I, I, I myself had occupied it for years and years when not a whole lot was going on there. there. There were long periods of time where it was just me and like three other people and nobody ever said anything. So I've been skeptical over the years about that whole scene, but I've come to understand that it's like a big family, big extended family. I don't know how many people I could count, but or at least like 60 or 65 people and we all pay attention to each other whether we make direct contact or not. You know, I almost I almost introduced this with saying that I only knew Peter from online. I always feel like I have to assert that little caveat as if to suggest that it wasn't real and that's a bias that I really need to get over get out get over with or get out of my system. then again the, the this BBS was really all about meeting up in person the the message boards and stuff were fun but it was really all about meeting up and hooking up and uh, we, we, we called them meets but we spelled it M-E-A-T-S it really was a, a, an influential scene for a lot of people I guess I count myself among them.
but it reminds me in turn of what I hope is the last <clears throat> the last account of somebody I knew who died with the exception of my grandmother who died when I was in high school I believe this to be the, the first person I knew you know who I actually was friends with and interacted with she was the first person I knew to die she was flirty as hell with me in high school and she was unquestionably beautiful and all kinds of good things. On account of that, I kind of resented her and I didn't, I was never rude to her, but I didn't respond to her flirtation as one, one would if they were mutually interested in the other person. I, she was just perfect. She was too perfect and I, I felt a little resentment for that. This is my high school angst. I don't know how I'd take this sort of thing today if a immaculately perfect woman came after me. But I just resented it. And her flirtation ended up receding. And she, she asked another guy to go to the homecoming dance. And he did. And wouldn't you know it, she got elected homecoming queen. <laughs> there again, she just had, she had, she was charmed. You know, she was, I think she was a straight A student. Uh, she was not, not rich. Uh, for all this, she was still kind of a dork, kind of a nerd, as we used to call him. Just a perfect person. So when I was in college, My mother, without calling to tell me ahead of time, sent me a news clipping from, uh, I think it was the Tampa Tribune, and it detailed how this uh, woman and a friend got into a helicopter with her father, who was a, a licensed trained pilot, and they took off and flew into some really bad weather windy as hell, there was lightning, it was raining like hell, probably should not have gone up in the air, but what's done is done, and something happened, the engine failed, and the helicopter just slowly spiraled down into a swamp, and they all drowned. Then I read the I read the news article about it, and it was just a sickening account. Because you could feel the tension and the panic in that little helicopter that everybody knew what was going to happen. Everybody knew what was going to happen. So, um, the article ended with the names of the pallbearer and the the officiators and the the people that were involved in the funeral service itself and these were all kids that I'd known since the third grade these were the names of kids from childhood and here they were burying burying one of our own it was just a an early life lesson and how quickly things can change.